How much electricity is there in the power switch button cables? Because of a broken power button on the front of my computer I've had to take the cables connected to the button and create a sort of hotwire setup to start my computer. This is done by simply pressing the ground and power switch cables against each other, and having those cables loosely taped to the outside of my case. Could these cables contain any dangerous amount of electricity, if a person or cat would accidentally touch them? The power switch provides an active low input to a logic gate within the power supply circuit. This provides a low current logic low ground gate pulse to a BJT transistor bias to an isolated 5V source with a maximum current likely much less than 10 Ma. This portion of the circuit is also electrically isolated from the rest of the power supply circuit as can be seen in the diagram. So to answer your question, no there are no dangerous voltages present. Source. This URL computer. The wires should only have low voltages on them, and LT semicolon equals 12V, so they're safe to touch. However, you should be careful, because if one of the wires is connected to the standby voltage rail, shorting it to the chassis could potentially damage the motherboard. Other answers have explained that the voltage difference between these two wires is almost certainly very low, and has next to no chance of harming you when you touch both of them. The more likely consequence is that you might harm your computer through static discharge. There is another consideration for the electrical safety of low voltage circuits though, and that is the voltage difference between these wires and ground, earth. Your PC's power supply should either have its ground, 0V, rail connected to mains ground, earth, or it should have adequate isolation between the main side and the low voltage side making it a class 2 device and in either case it should be safe to touch the low voltage side even if your body is also touching something grounded. However if there's anything wrong, for example. The power supply is faulty. The power supply is cheaply made and substandard. The power supply is not correctly connected to mains. For example if it needs to be grounded but is connected via a 2 core cable or 2 pin plug with no ground. There is a fault with your outlet or your house wiring. Then the result would be a dangerous voltage, relative to ground, on the low voltage side of the PC power supply. Just in case of one of these, it's safer not to touch the wires. The wires are safe to touch as they are powered from a 3.3V chip on the motherboard, and current is limited by a resistor. However, if you carry an electrostatic charge, and you touch the wire, you will cause an electrostatic discharge, EST. This is harmless for you, but it can zap the integrated circuits at the other end of the wire if they are not protected. Normally, the manufacturer would have taken appropriate measures to ensure all input slash outputs are protected against EST, which begs the question, did they consider it worthy to protect this particular I.O. since it is normally not an externally accessible I.O., but rather an internal wiring? For example, looking at this motherboard schematic, pages 23 to 24, the power button signal is filtered by a 100 NF cap which should be fine, however the reset button signal goes straight to a IC pin without any protection. While these chips include EST protection diodes, such diodes are sized to protect against EST events during fabrication, which are quite limited in charge as people manipulating chips are expected to take proper precautions. 
More robust protection diodes on every pin would use more silicon area and make the X more expensive, while providing no benefit unless the pin is actually accessible on the finished product and can be zapped by the user. Therefore, your arrangement carries a risk of zapping the motherboard. It will probably be safe if the floor is tile and you are wearing cotton. However, if the floor is insulating, and you're wearing wool and sneakers, and the weather is dry, when touching metallic objects your fingertip can turn into a pretty impressive lightning gun. Yes,